Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm from the Chinese Wedding Shop. I'm here today to introduce to you the entire process of a modern Chinese wedding. And before we start, let's bring you to an introduction of our shop. Alright guys, so beside me right now is the owner of the Chinese wedding shop. Her name is Michelle. So Michelle, can you share with us what inspired you to start this shop? Okay, uh, we started this in actually 2009 mm. and then uh, during that time there was no one substation that uh, you know handles everything in the Chinese tradi uh, traditional wedding custom. Mm. So uh, at that time we have a lot of friends getting married and then they were running all over Singapore trying to find uh, the information mm. and to products that is actually required for their wedding. So being busy working mm. adults, uh, we hear them complaining about it all the time. Mm. So uh, we did some research and then we actually flew to you know uh, Malaysia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, all these places mm. to do our research and then we uh, we actually found out a lot about the Chinese wedding and our heritage and this mm. got us interested and in, uh, when we started this shop we knew we wanted to do a one-stop station so mm. it's a place where the couples can actually come down get all their products in one place and very importantly get the accurate information according to the dialect groups in Singapore Oh, yeah. I see. So you actually provide like advice for the specific dialect groups, their traditions yes. and things like that. Yes. Okay, so I'm Hakka. So maybe next time when I get married, I can yes. I can come here and come, consult come. you. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now that you have a better understanding of what we specialize in, let's start from the beginning. So a traditional Chinese wedding starts with San Shu Yu. But from then, it has since evolved into a modern Huo Da Li, Jia Zhuang, An Chuang, Shu Tou, and the actual wedding day itself. Starting with Huo Da Li, so Kodali is actually a day when the groom will bring over betrothal gifts to present to the bride's parents. This actually shows his sincerity in marrying the bride and provides assurance to the bride's parents that he will take very good care of the bride after they are married. So here's the list of items that you actually need for your Kodali. We have candles, traditional food items, auspicious wedding grains, dowry money items, gold jewellery, wedding baskets, oranges, two bottles of alcohol, wedding cakes for the bride's relatives, and door banners. So, uh, as you can see, a lot of the items, especially those in Asterix, differs according to the dialect groups, such as the candles and the types of jewellery and the baskets to bring, and especially the traditional food items such as Milao Ma Lao Kong Teng for the Hokkien's or sesame and peanut candies for Teochew's, down to the different types of the traditional wedding cakes and even the number of oranges to bring can be different depending on your dialect. So it can be very confusing for you, especially if, since this is the first time many of you come across these food items. So if you would like to know more, please feel free to come down to any of our outlets or WhatsApp us, Facebook message us, IG DM us, <laughs> and we will, be, we will be very happy to share everything with you according to your specific dialects. On Quota Day, the bride's parents will also prepare dowry items to be given to the group and some of these items will be used on the wedding day itself. I would like to show you a video on the significance of giving Jia Zhuang. I think I can go. Ma, I don't want. I really don't want to go. Stupid. It's so hot and tiring, Mom. Girl, ah, hurry up. We have so many things to buy, you know. I really don't want to go. This is very important for your wedding. I'll just want a simple wedding. A wedding can be simple, but traditions must be followed. As Chinese, there are many traditions in marriages. Of most important is Guo Da Li. It shows a husband's sincerity and assurance that you are well taken care of after your wedding. Tong Ma, this is so outdated, Mom. All these traditions have been passed down through generations. Don't ask so much, just follow me. Mom. Yeah, yeah, we are here, we are here. This is a shop law that my friend told me about. It's the biggest Chinese customary wedding shop in Singapore. It has five outlets all over the island. They have all the accessories that we need from Jia Zhuang, Guo Da Li, An Chuang, to all these lovely favors and decorations. Okay. See, see, see. This is the Guo Da Li package. There are so many things here. You can get your boyfriend to come and buy here. Lor. Hey, see, that one also. Come, 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 see. Wow, this is the Jia Zhuang package. So many designs, you know. Okay. Yeah, there are so many things to buy here, but why must you spend money on this? Ayah, girl, you don't know la. This is for your own good. Hey, look at this. This is so cute. Hi, ladies. 
May I help? It's my daughter. She's getting married. We are here to look for auspicious things that we need for the ceremony. No worry, we have everything you need. This is a dowry package. In the dowry, all items that come along with meanings. Do you need my explanation? Tai 过大礼的时候，男家会送两瓶酒孝敬岳父。啊，女生家爸爸妈妈就会准备这个呃橙汁做回礼。哎，谢谢你嘞，不客气。We didn't know there's so much meaning behind all these things. Hmm? Do you understand? Understand me. Really. Now we know what to buy already. Yeah. Mm. A wedding is once in a lifetime. It's not just for us, but also our parents. Yet many decisions from the ring to the dress, venue and our honeymoon destination are made without them. Looking at mum's smile today reminds me of all the fond memories we have and this is the part of my wedding that I really treasure and remember. So here's the list of items typically prepared for Jia Zhuang. You have your tea sets, your bowl sets, your chopsticks, a needle box set which is a sewing kit, a pair of prosperity lamps, a baby prosperity set, wooden clocks, face towels, orange juice, red packets, charcoal, pajamas, bedroom slippers and your bed sheets. Some items in this list have been modernized. For example, newly, newlyweds used to wear the actual wooden clocks, the big ones. But nowadays, mini wooden clocks are used to display in the bridal room instead. So this represents Pupu Kaohsiung. And in the olden times, a sewing machine, an actual sewing machine is given as part of dowry. But nowadays, a sewing kit is given instead. So mini representation of items are also being used. So this mini set is used in replacement of the baby bathtub and the spittoon set, wishing couple Zhao Sheng Gui Zi, Sheng Huo Yue Lai Yue Hao. All these items represent specific meanings and gives blessings to the couple after their marriage. They are to be displayed in the bridal room or used on the wedding day itself, and after the wedding, kept and used by the couple as daily necessities. So after your Guo Da Li Day, next up will be your bed setting. What you'll need is this bed setting set, two oranges, and your new bed sheets, and a pair of prosperity, prosperity lamps, and all these are actually from your dowry items. Your bed setting is actually done one to three days before the wedding day, and once the bed is set up, the bed is left untouched until the wedding day itself. Our set comes along with a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to best do your bed setting and auspicious phrases to say during the process. In olden times, bed setting is usually done by the groom's parents or itui hao ming fu qi. Nowadays, in modern times, if you are staying with the bride's family after the wedding, the bride's parents can set the bed for you as well. Also, on the night before the wedding day will be your hair combing ceremony. You will actually change into your new long sleeve long pants, pajamas and bedroom slippers and your parents will comb your hair for you. You will need to prepare this hair combing set and your parents will read the blessings from the recital card as they comb your hair. This is a very short ceremony, however it embodies heartfelt blessings from your parents to you where they sincerely wish for your good fortune as you grow up into adulthood and get married into a happy life. So, before your wedding day, make sure your house is nicely decorated with lots of double happiness decorations and stickers. And this will share the festive feelings and the joy and good fortune with everyone around you. So, most people will start decorating on what time of day. And up till the wedding day, make sure your house is more decorated than the wedding year. As your wedding is a once in a lifetime event and thus is a lot more celebrated than the year one. 
On the wedding day itself, the groom will go and fetch the bride early in the morning called Chu Men, bring her back to the groom's house for the tea ceremony, this is called Guo Men, and go back to the bride's house for the tea ceremony in the bride's place, and this is called Wei Men. For your tea ceremony, you will need to make red dates tea from the wedding grains used on Guo Da Li, and use the tea set given by the bride's parents in her dowry for the groom's tea ceremony. For the bride's tea ceremony, you can actually use the set used by her parents when they got married many years before. If they really can't find it, you can also prepare a new set. So nowadays, for hygiene purposes, mini paper cups are used for relatives like aunties and uncles and we recommend reserving the actual porcelain tea cups for parents and grandparents. After the tea ceremonies on both sides, you can proceed to the hotel for a well-deserved rest before your wedding dinner. This wraps up our sharing and we hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it. Bye!